everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesforce and this is rohit and today i'm going to discuss about event monitor using salesforce inspector so this is a new feature it's still in beta but maybe in coming days you will be seeing generally available right but i will let you know about it this feature it's very useful for us if you are working on the platform event okay in salesforce so before starting this video i request to you all please like share comment subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my side okay so i observe lots of people just watching my video without subscribe the channel so i request you all so please don't do this like without you know subscribe the channel only just watching the video this is the only one way you can support me guys so let's get started without any further delay so before starting this video you have to do one thing just you have to create the platform event i hope you know all these things right but let me tell you the best way to handle and monitoring this platform event using salesforce inspector right so under click find you have to search like platform event or platform event okay so now you can see the platform event just click on this one and this is the platform event you have to create a new platform event and let's say test test event something like okay you can give it any program name based on your need let's say this one and click on the same so this is a platform event and how to identify this is the platform event so under scan underscore e it means event platform event so it's kind of you know like object object have like under underscore c but in the event we have under underscore underscore e so that is event okay let me create one custom field and uh, based on this custom field we can handle it like uh, all the information regarding this one right so let me tell you one thing here in the custom field right i need to add uh, you know text. okay so you can add it as you want so just select the text click on the next and here let's say account name something like that you can give any name as you want length let's say 255 click on the save now you can see our platform event test event have one custom field that is account underscore name underscore underscore c and this is the our event name okay after that i want to fire this platform event using flow you can use apex as well it's up to you but the this is the easiest way to handle or you know fire the platform event so let me make here let's say flow you can search like flow and click on these flows and once you click on the flow now you have to create your flow and this is a new automation app as you know these old things if you don't know i already created lots of video regarding the you know salesforce releases so this is the only platform this salesforce hunt is the only platform have the latest video regarding the releases you can observe in any other youtube channel or anything okay that is my guarantee because of i already up to date to you guys that's why okay so you can check out these old things okay so first of all let me create the you know flow and flow type is a record trigger flow okay so let me create the record trigger flow so just click on the new flow under this new flow just select uh, the record uh, you know flow type is if scratch next record trigger flow create so under the flow you have to search the object so i want to add the you know object let's say contact so based on the contact uh, last name right i want to update that field that is account name in the platform event as we already created that custom field right so it's a, like a record is created and it's a action and related record okay after that once you added these things right so just you have to do one thing here very simple you have to create the you know event so how to do that let me tell you here just click on this plus icon and here you have to search like create the like create so under here let's say create record something like that you can give any name as you want but it's always follow the best practice and you have to enter the description as well okay and how to set the record i want to make it as a manual and the 
object name it's like a test right? test event this one okay so under here we have that field that is account name and how we can find out that account name based on this you know record one and because we already follow that uh, you know contact record triggered contact and under here we have the last name is a required field so i can find out here let's say last name here you can see right so this is a simple you know mapping field mapping here you can see after that once you've done it like that right so just you have to save your flow and please observe these uh, all you know values and field mapping everything okay so this is how you can maintain these uh, field mapping and flows right so just you have to click on the save let's say platform or platform event demo something like that okay so very simple and very easy just click on the save button okay so this is you know this is the flow and let me click on the activate so don't forget it to activate the flow otherwise it will not work as a platform event right so now our flow is successfully saved right and uh, how to debug it so we have to debug it uh, using you know that uh, salesforce inspector event monitoring feature you can use any tool as you have because nowadays market have lots of you know event mod monitoring application free extension visual code visual studio code have the lots of extension or you know apex exchange also have the lots of ex uh, you know extension or you know application okay so you can make it based on your requirement right now i'm giving you the simplest and easiest way to handle uh, this one and monitoring the platform event okay so once you've done it like activate the flow just you have to open the you know salesforce inspector so this is my salesforce inspector now you can see the event monitoring things so under here you can see the event monitoring so this is the new ui in the salesforce inspector like so subscribe the channel channel type we have two types of channel standard platform event and custom event platform event and then channel name and replay from subscribe or unsubscribe and after that you can see the event result okay so now first of all just click on this one like uh, this channel type so right now we are using custom one so you have to select like, custom platform event after that immediately if you have like uh, one platform event that event automatic selected by default here if you have like more than one then you will be see this drop down here so right now we have one that's why you can see test event under underscore e automatic selected in this channel drop down after that you have to subscribe it so just click on the subscribe and once you clicked on this subscribe now you can see our listening on event this this right so how to monitor this event like test event so let me do that one thing under the app launcher just you have to search and after that you have to select like contact so it's a contact one select the contact so once you select the contact you have to create a new contact so just click on the list view click no new after that like a uh, mr like sumit sing right and just click on the save button once you clicked on the save now our contact is created successfully after that our flow is fired and uh, under the flow we have the platform event and uh, under the platform event we are monitoring using salesforce inspector now immediately you can see salesforce inspector capturing the event that is schema created id created by id created date and the account name and that is the field inside this platform event that is name and we are capturing from the contact that's why you can see the account name and sing and these all event uid replay id and event api name so now this is how you can monitor your platform event using salesforce inspector if you are enjoying this video so please like share comment subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more update so you never be miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys see you again bye bye